Hello, back again with a another demo of an experiment, another one involving radiation. I am currently uh, preparing to observe background radiation for about a year, so I can tell how background radiation varies over time of year and time of day, um, and potentially with um, weather and maybe barometric pressure. Um, so here's the test apparatus, at least the hardware bit. Here I've got a Ludlum 177 Geiger counter. Uh, and this is just kind of a nice bench top unit that has a backup battery in it. And I've got a Ludlum 44.7, or sorry, 44.9 um, Alpha Beta Gamma Pancake Probe. And then here is a Raspberry Pi and a bunch of custom circuitry. Um, I've jokingly called this PubRo because I think government acronyms that are incredibly long and tortured are hilarious. This one happens to be the Portland Urban Background Radiation Observation Worker. PubRo. Ha ha ha. Anyway, um, there's a Raspberry Pi with the host name Strangelove that connects to a bunch of input circuitry that connects my Ludlum 177 to it via the data port. Now the data port is only sending me the um, pulse per second or like the pulse output and the alarm output. So what I'm doing here is I've got an IC in this guy that's actually digitally counting the pulses that are read by the Raspberry Pi and I also have a temperature, humidity, and um, barometer um, temperature, humidity, and barometer module in this as well. Um, and this guy also has a 6600 milliamp hour battery, um, rechargeable, so that even if we lose power, both of these instruments will keep running until one or both of them run out of power. But, uh, yeah, so as you can see here, the setup's pretty simple. So if we go over here, I'm still working on the software, so it's kind of light on features right now. But if I CD into the directory, and then I run... The Auto Geiger software, and this is just again a development version. You can actually see that it'll pick up the counts per second for the last couple for the last second. It'll compute the counts per minute in fast and slow mode, and it'll show whether or not we have an alarm. Right now, the temperature, humidity, and barrow are showing nothing because they don't have drivers written for them yet. And you can also tell if the um, counter, if the buffer for the fast and slow averaging is full. So that's the fast full and slow full. Now you can see that they're both true because both of them have enough uh, data. The timestamp is when the readings were taken. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then you can see over here, because I can't demo the sensors themselves, you can actually see the two sensor modules showing up on the I2C bus on the Raspberry Pi. So it'd be 45 and 76 here. So, um, so you can see here that on fast, I'm averaging somewhere between 30 and 50 counts per minute. Um, well, 0 and 30, and then the same thing with fast, uh, or the slow counter. Oh, whoops, yeah. And I also have a little test event there to tell me when 60 seconds of data have been recorded, because what that'll do is that'll actually signal to the system that it needs to serialize that data in a database. Um, that'll be stored internally, and there'll also be a web service to call and get information off of here. Um, in addition to that... It will also hopefully be posting um, graphs of the background radiation day in twenty or background radiation in twenty four hour period to a Facebook group that does uh, international radiation monitoring just for fun. Um, but anyway, the next part I'd like to demo is um, showing that the counter and the meter get about the same readings, and the easiest way to do that is with a fairly hot source. So I'm going to use my trusty Vaseline glass here. So I'm going to put that right underneath the pancake probe. Oh, and it also set off the alarm. So, I'll show that GC alarm is set to true. So that means the alarm is working. So what I'll do here, punch reset, and I'll crank up the alarm threshold just to make sure that doesn't happen again. And then, put the sample under the probe. You can already hear that going off. 
We've buried the needle on times one scale, so we'll get a times 10. And reset. So we're climbing up to passing 1,000 counts a minute. Going to 2,000 counts a minute. 2,200, 2,300, somewhere in there. And we'll continue collecting data for just a moment. Wait for this guy to average out as well. So you can see that we're reading like 2,600, 2,700 counts per minute on here as well. Go back to the meter. Yeah, 2,200, 2,400. So we're kind of bouncing between 25 and yeah, 26. 25 and 26 counts, 25 and 26,000 counts per minute. So that data is fairly consistent with what we're seeing here, which is a good sign. So yeah, uh, looks like this bad boy's working. Now I just have to get the uh, drivers written for the I squared C devices, or the I squared C sensors, and get the graphing and the Facebook posting working. Awesome.